Let's talk Texas politics tonight. At the beginning of the week, state lawmakers started submitting bills that they want to be considered in the next legislative session, which begins in January. You know, more than 800 pieces of legislation have already been filed. That's right. Marcelino Benito is breaking down the bills that could become laws next year. The state of Texas has been a battleground for transgender rights. Last year, Texas legislators passed a law requiring trans students participate on sports teams and use bathrooms aligned with their sex assigned at birth. And the stage is set again for more battles. Already, more than 40 anti-trans bills have been introduced by Texas lawmakers this year alone. House Bill 42 would expand how Texas defines child abuse to include providing gender-affirming health care. A similar bill failed last session. It could land parents and doctors in jail if passed. Then there's House Bill 112 that would criminalize gender affirming health care. Things like testosterone or estrogen doses for children would be illegal and violations would result in a second degree felony. And House Bill 631 would ban classroom instruction on gender identity and sexual orientation from kindergarten through fifth grade, similar to Florida's so-called don't say gay bill. Remember, Governor Greg Abbott and Attorney General Ken Paxton have called gender affirming procedures child abuse earlier this year and asked the Department of Family and Protective Services to investigate this type of care among trans youth. Courts have blocked that effort, but it could all be back in play if these bills do make it into law. Back to you. All right, Marcelino Bettino reporting there. Other significant bills filed this week include health care, guns, abortion, public education, and voting and election measures. All right, here's 